Alright guys, this is Mr. O'Connor here to show you how to use, how to create your iMovie trailers uh, for your Ancient Greece assignment. So here we go. The first thing you want to do is open up iMovie. It should be down in your dock. It's this little star. If it's not there, you can click on the launch pad and find it uh, within the apps that you have on your computer. So from there, you're going to see a screen come up like this. First thing you want to do is come over to your events and create a new event and create one for Global Studies for all the different projects that we're going to do this year using iMovie and then from there you're going to cl click new and then trailer all right so in trailer you're going to choose the uh, trailer that works best for your thesis statement and the evidence that you want to present for ancient Greece uh, there's a variety to choose from be creative there uh, I'm going to click cancel on that and come over to one that I've already created so I click on global studies I've already set up, I've already picked my uh, trailer that I wanted to use, and you can see it's probably going to come up to outline first. Uh, you can use the outline format. I really like the storyboard format. There's also what's called short list. Uh, it depends on the view that you like. They're all showing the same thing, just in a different format. So I like storyboard, and from there you're going to have some predetermined text. So you're going to change the predetermined text to add in your thesis statement, a little context about ancient Greece, and your two pieces of evidence. Okay, so you can see I've already changed the predetermined text to include some, first off I start with a little context to ancient Greece, then I added in my thesis statement, then my two pieces of evidence. Uh, so you got to be short, concise, and get all that information in there. Uh, so once you get your text in there, then you can start adding your media. Your media would be those images. So you find images, whether it's online or using images from the DBQ. And once you do, you can take a screenshot of them using Command-Shift-4 to take a screenshot. Those screenshots go directly to your desktop. So once you've found all your images, you're going to click Import find where those images are on your computer so I put mine on my desktop because I took screenshots so I click on desktop on the left hand side and find the images that I want so let's say I wanted these two images I would click both and hold down command to highlight multiple images and then from there I would come down here and click select or import images so then all my images show up right here uh, right above where I've imported them so once I found one that I want I can right click on it click select entire text and then just drag and drop it right down and you see the plus little sign there green plus sign it's gonna go right in boom alright so then from there I would do that for each of my images I have it all set up remember the most important thing is including your thesis and your two uh, pieces of evidence in there once you have it all and you, you like the way it is there's no grammatical errors you click share come over here to YouTube Make sure you're signed into your school account. For me, it's toconnor at barrington220.org. Uh, you can name your video. I would keep all of these settings the same. The only one you want to check is privacy. Make sure it's on public, not private. All right, public, so I can view it and we can view it in class. Then once you do, you click Next and go through the steps, and uh, your video is going to go right to YouTube. Uh, once you're done, it'll send you a link to the YouTube video, and I'll show you how to turn that in uh, in class uh, tomorrow. So hopefully this tutorial has helped. Thanks, and I look forward to seeing your movie trailers.